Welcome to Heat Check, powered by Defunct.com. These are the highest selling vintage t-shirts on eBay over the last two weeks. Let's see who made the list. All right, coming in at number 10, we have the vintage 1994 Alice in Chains Jars of Fly promo long sleeve t-shirt here. Uh, we don't see long sleeves all that often on this list, but when they make it, uh, they tend to be a pretty good t-shirt. Uh, this one certainly is. Uh, in fact, this one was sold by a member of our Discord community. Uh, so if you want to, that's a good time to remind you. Uh, we do have a Discord community. You can uh, join for free in the description below. Uh, come hang out, talk vintage clothes, talk yeah, vintage tees, jeans, whatever you want. Uh, what are you thrifting? What are you finding? Stuff like that. Anyway, uh, this is a great t-shirt. I, I mean, freaking love the design. I actually kind of am a sucker for long sleeve t-shirts. Not everybody is. Uh, here we have the uh, Fruit of the Loom size, large, good size. Uh, but I am. So, uh, I probably I could probably pick up some decent, uh, decently cool t-shirts on the low because so many people sleep on these long sleeves. Uh, but for me, they work just fine. This one sold for $1,199.40. Next up, another long sleeve here at number nine. Uh, we have the Ride uh, t-shirt long sleeve from, it says 1992. Uh, Ride, another great, one of those great uh, shoegaze bands. Obviously people, when they sell shoegaze t-shirts, they have to like throw all these other shoegaze bands in there for the keywords. Uh, but this one, another good one. Love the freaking graphic on this thing. Looks like there's like embossed, kind of like embossed, yeah, like embossed letters. Uh, that's kind of interesting, pretty unique. Um, I'm not sure what tag this was originally on. Oh, there's the backside, yeah. Going blank again, 1992. Uh, looks like a Europe, or a, no, no, it looks like the Australian tour. Uh, but anyway, great t-shirt, super fly. Like, I love Ride, love all those, most of those shoegaze bands. Uh, this one is another one I'd probably pick up. This one sold for $1,200. Then at number eight, another t-shirt I would love to have. We have the 1991 Smashing Pumpkins Mission to Mars t-shirt here. Uh, big fan of Smashing Pumpkins myself. This one looks like it's just like perfectly faded. The graphic is still in really clean condition, single stitch obviously. I'm not sure what this would have been printed on. Mission to Mars on the back here. Uh, yeah, I would, I would so love to have this t-shirt. Um, one day I may find it. Uh, but this one sold for $1,200 as well. Uh, seeing some good uh, uh, grunge and shoegaze t-shirts to kick us off. Next up, we have the Butthole Surfers 1993 Don Rock Snake Grunge Sonic Youth. Yeah, that's, again, all these keywords. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at this one. I guess this one is designed by Don Rock. Let's look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, D-Rock right there. Anyway, we see butthole surfers on this list like pretty often, but uh, interestingly enough, rarely do we see like the same design over and over again because uh, there are so many unique and rare designs here. Uh, but this one's pretty sick. Not the not the biggest print or not the biggest like uh, design uh, by any means, but still pretty dope. This one is sold for $1,249.99. All right, now we have a classic. Uh, we have the uh, vintage Nirvana Nevermind. Uh, recently, we have actually just retired the insect insecticide t-shirts, so you won't be seeing any uh, Nirvana insecticide t-shirts. They were just on this list too often, uh, so they go get retired just like the uh, uh, heart-shaped box t-shirts. But this one, we don't see that often, uh, but uh, we see it often enough. Uh, but we have the Nevermind with the uh, track list on the back. This is a classic one. Uh, with the uh, album cover on front on the giant by Toltex tag. Uh, yeah, this one's got some issues. Uh, obviously, the white balance is a little off. But either way, uh, sick t-shirt. I think this guy says he's actually the original owner. Yeah, it's his original owner. That's what he says. Um, he says he owned every Nirvana shirt ever made in the 1990s. So... Uh, homeboy is probably rich by now, uh, but this one sold out for 23 bids for $12.90. All right, next up we have the beginning of the Marvel onslaught with this Wizard Magazine number one Spider-Man, Spider-Man like patriotic wizard Spider-Man. I don't know what's going on with this, um, or maybe it's just maybe it's just a wizard with the stars. 
Uh, but yeah, it's something like that. Uh, this is like this is the best photo right here. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, this is new to, new with defects. Clearly has the the tag still on it. Uh, Fifteen dollars. It's quite the appreciation. Uh, some dinginess from storage. Someone probably found this in a comic book shop or something. Uh, but uh, either way, incredible T-shirt here. Uh, quite the appreciation. Originally purchased for fifteen bucks, and then uh, thirty years later sold for fifteen hundred dollars. All right. Next up, we have another Marvel. I told you they'd be they'd be coming fast and furious here. Uh, this one is super sick. Uh, sold by the same seller, uh, so this guy is cashing out. 1991, new sealed bag, X-Men Wolverine comic, bad to the bone. Look at this, in like insane graphic, um, just absolutely brutal. Um, what a cool T-shirt. Wolverine MT302. Uh, not sure. I guess that might be the uh, the comic book number. There's that comic images. This one went for, sold for originally sold for even less at 12.99. And size XL. Could you imagine finding one of these? Uh, that would be the that would be the life. Look at how clean this one. This one looks so clean. It doesn't look like it has any of the dinginess as the previous one because it's still in its bag. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, this is one of the cooler uh, Marvel tees I've seen. Obviously, probably not a huge all over print, but still an incredibly dope looking uh, T-shirt and, and quite rare. We've not seen this design on the list before. This one sold after 33 bids for 15.75. Then at number three, this is probably my favorite t-shirt on the list so far. The Alien vs. Predator AOP comic images t-shirt. Look at this tee. Oh my gosh, what a sick, incredible graphic. It's pretty well all over print. Uh, let's see what the back side. The back side is the same, which is pretty typical. What an incredible t-shirt. I mean, just a this is a rare one. We do not I've not seen this one on the list before. Um, I don't even think I've ever seen this one before, to be honest. Uh, but certainly one of the coolest ones out there. Let's see if there's not a whole lot of details here. Uh, but still, excellent t-shirt, and it went for the excellent price of $2,000. Then at number two, I told you this Marvel train would keep going. Uh, we have the Spider-Man Carnage and Venom all over print t-shirt here. Uh, this one is beautiful. This is a true sort of a true all-over print um, I'm guessing that the Yeah, look, it's basically I don't know if it's dead stock. It's, the tag is still on there. I would call that dead stock uh, Unless they just found a tag and stuck it on there. It looks like it's DS, but uh, they sold it as pre-owned uh, Which is fine like it, You know, that's not a total lie um, but uh, advertising as dead stock would have might have made them yeah, it's never been washed. It has the original sticker. Yeah, dead stock in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if that would have changed the price. Still an incredible t-shirt for sure. Uh, this one also sold for $2,000. Now before we get to number one, if you're going to spend a fortune like on one of these t-shirts on this list, make sure that it's authentic by using the Legitimate app in the description below. Use code LOOPFAN for 25% off your authentication. Then at number one, we have seen this t-shirt before. This is the 1994 NAF Grateful Dead Panther t-shirt. Uh, this one we've seen. It's made the list. I don't know if it's ever. It might have been the number one a couple times. Uh, but this one is a classic. Uh, this one always goes for a lot of money. It is harder to come by. There's that NFT or NFA. Uh, not fadeaway graphics. Uh, definitely a rare uh, Grateful Dead t-shirt. Uh, not a whole lot to be said about this one. Uh, it's just uh, one that, you know, is super popular in the zeitgeist and definitely a cool tee. Uh, at number one, it sold for $2,100 for the number one spot. So congratulations to everyone who uh, bought a tee or sold a tee on this list this week. Uh, thank you for providing such good content. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next.